Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up the brand new Pokemon TCG Crown Zenith tin. Now this specific tin features Galarian Moltres. Now this tin, official release date March 17th, 2023 of course, the tin is based around the Crown Zenith Special Expansion, one of my favorite newly released sets. So I did buy this tin from the Pokemon Center online for $24.99. If you flip over the tin, you can see exactly what you get on the inside. Five booster packs of Crown Zenith, a code card for the TCG Live, and then one full art promo card featuring Galarian Articuno, Zapdos, or Moltres. Now in this specific case, I like the Galarian Moltres best. So that is why I've decided to open up this tin first. Now before I get too far into this video, I do want to give a special shout out to Mrs. Bass's second grade class. Actually today, I was a mystery reader in the class, talked about my book a little bit, and of course promoted my channel. So thanks to all those watching from the second grade class of Mrs. Bass. So I'll take the plastic wrap off of the tin, show the contents on the inside. I will take a look at the prices for the cards from Crown Zenith. Of course, Crown Zenith, 230 total cards in the set. That includes the special subset, the Galarian Gallery. And that is really the reason that Crown Zenith is such a popular set. Give away the code card as well. I actually did order a case of these Crown Zenith tins from Game Nerds for less than MSRP. I'm actually going to keep that case sealed. So here's a better look at the products on the inside. Five booster packs of Crown Zenith. Same exact cover artwork design on each and every pack, similar to what the Japanese booster packs look like. This unfortunately is not a textured full art, just a glossy full art, SWSH284 for the card number. Such a beautiful looking card for sure. I'm actually in the process of relearning Spanish to help my daughter speak Spanish. So of course, uno dos tres for the Galarian birds, legendary birds. And then here would be the code card for the TCG Live, a great way to learn how to play the trading card game competitively. So I will head quickly over to the price guide on TCG Player. Here is that Crown Zenith, the Galarian Gallery subset, the most valuable card in this entire set, the Giratina V-Star, the gold colored secret rare, the Mewtwo V-Star is a very cool battle scene on it with Charizard and Mewtwo. That is the second most valuable card in the set and then the prices go down from there. But all these cards essentially alternate art cards, very, very beautiful and very collectible. Then if you go back over to the main part of Crown Zenith, not much value here, at least the Sparkle, the Full Art, the most valuable card there, $30. The Pikachu, which is a tough card to pull, is only worth $18, and there's not much value outside of there. New to this set, the reintroduction of the Full Art Energy cards. Okay, let's get to opening the booster packs. I do have the other two tins to open up still in this series. I just liked the Moltres most, like I mentioned. All right. Now, I do apologize. I haven't posted any new videos lately. Normally, the new expansion in the new year is released in early February. That moved way back because it is the new set in a new series, Scarlet and Violet, that set to be released, I believe, March 31st. I have all the products pre-ordered for Scarlet and Violet, so I'll have a lot more videos in the very near future. Four and then two to move that rare universe all to the back of the pack. Wilmer starts the first pack of five. Larvesta, Shinx, Energy Retrieval, Galarian Meowth, Water Type Energy, Graveler, Pokemon Catcher, Pinchurchin, Reverse Hollow, which could be the Galarian Gallery card. Indeed it is. A very cool looking Lapras. You take a look at the bottom left hand corner of the card. GG for the card number. GG05 of GG70. That means it's the fifth card out of 70 total cards in the set. And then the final card would be an EVV. Of course, lots of people fans of EV and the evolutions of EV. 
my favorite evolution, probably Umbreon or Jolteon, sort of a 1A, 1B type situation. My wife Carla, her favorite is Sylveon, or as she says, the pink one. All right, second pack here. And for those just watching my videos for the first time, I try to include chapters in the video description so you can jump right ahead to what exactly you want to see in the video. If you're looking for just the summary of polls, you can easily jump right to that. Love Disc starts the second pack. Execute. Swish, an always useful trainer card. Starly. Cherubi. Darkness type energy. Electric. Digging Duo. Geofrig. Reverse all of a Starly, a common, and then Snorlax as the final card. Out of five packs, really hitting out of one pack out of the five is an average 10 overall, so I've already hit that average mark. You always have to go into any product opening, assuming the worst, that way you won't be very disappointed if you're not getting anything good. It will be interesting with Scarlet and Violet being released at the end of the month. Lots of changes for Pokemon cards, becoming more similar to Japanese cards. Of course, the biggest indicator, the silver borders. Then, of course, you do get two reverse hollows and a rare hollow guaranteed in every single pack. Third pack of five starts with Cricketot, Seal, Oddish, Corfish, Pokeball, Grass Type Energy, Trekking Shoes, Matang, Digging Duo. Reverse Hall of a Cherubi, a Common, and the final card would be a Raihan. New to this set, the signatures of whatever trainer or characters on the card. Raihan, not a bad supporter card overall. It is a rare hollow. I'll set that aside. I have opened a fair amount of Crown Zenith. I've been trying to keep some sealed just because I think this is a very collectible set. But I've really not pulled anything too valuable from the packs. And it always is better. I talked about my book earlier when I read it for Mrs. Bass's class. But it always is cheaper just to go out and buy even the Giratina V-Star, that one that's worth $100 plus. It's cheaper to go out and buy that card as opposed to just buying $100 worth of packs and hoping to pull that card. Shout out starts this one. Second to last pack. Cricketot. Pawniard. Yanma. Amolga. Lightning type energy. Crushing Hammer, one of the most disruptive trainer cards in the format. Luxio, Rescue Carrier, Reverse Hall of a Glaring Meowth, a Common, and the final card would be a Lycanroc. On to the final pack, and you didn't have to watch very far into this video to see probably what is the best pull of the opening in that Lapras. Maybe I'm saving the best for last, we'll see. That's the fun of opening products. Let's see what happens in pack number five. Four and then two. Of course, there are Radiant Pokemon in this set as well. I've actually done okay pulling Charizard. Eternatus is actually the best of the three, I would say. Emolga starts the final pack. Scyther, Starly, Riolu, Aeron, Fighting Type Energy, Lost Vacuum, Great Ball. They are great. Solrock. Reverse Hollow, nice! A good way to end this opening with the second Glaring Gallery pull. This time a Cricketune. And then the final card would be an Executor. So give me a moment and I'll summarize all the good pulls from this opening. And this is one product that I like opening quite well just because that promo card that you get, the Legendary Bird, is pretty cool looking and a fairly valuable promo as well. From five booster packs inside this tin, I was able to pull out a Rare Hollow in Raihan. One Pokemon V and Eevee, and then two Galarian Gallery subset cards. Cricketune, and my favorite pull of the opening would be Lapras. So that will conclude this opening. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to do two simple things. Leave a like on this video and then subscribe to my channel. I do have a Patreon out there as well as my book, and you can certainly Look into both of those if you're interested in supporting my channel even more. So thank you everyone for watching. Happy Pokemon card collecting. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.